SCP-1701 upon recovery. Item number SCP-1701 Object Class Euclid Index Intents and Purposes Special Containment Procedures SCP-1701 is contained within a standard containment cell equipped with a bulletproof frosted skylight. Personnel are not to enter SCP-1701's cell without vision obscuring eyewear. Any new SCP-1701 instances are to be incinerated. Description SCP-1701 is an Easy Up brand pop-up canopy capable of autonomous motion and predatory behavior. SCP-1701 in its rest state is visually indistinguishable from similar non-anomalous canopies. In this state, SCP-1701 uses photosynthetic cells in its fabric to sustain itself. Occasionally, SCP-1701 will become active, marked by the fabric changing color and displaying iridescent green and blue fractal patterns. It will begin to rock back and forth slightly, gradually increasing in intensity until it tips over. If SCP-1701 detects any movement within 5 meters of itself during an active state, SCP-1701's legs will quickly elongate to over 10 meters in length and manifest several joints. These legs will spasm and flail violently until they make contact with the triggering object, at which point the legs will wrap around it and pull it towards the center. Remaining legs will retract, allowing SCP-1701 to fold up and once again resemble a non-anomalous canopy. The captured object vanishes completely during this process, though SCP-1701 will occasionally twitch or emit a low sloshing sound for several hours after. Following this event, any person having witnessed SCP-1701 consume an object will eventually suffer headaches, irritated eyes, and sinus pain for up to eight hours. The time frame for these symptoms to manifest following viewing of SCP-1701's active state is highly variable, and known to range between 18 minutes and 9 years, 11 months. After initial symptoms begin, upper and lower eyelashes will lengthen and transmute into aluminum before falling out. The eyeballs will disengage from the optic nerve and eye socket and transmute into cloth and aluminum upon coming into contact with the transformed eyelashes before combining to form two miniature SCP-1701 instances. These instances will then attempt to scuttle away from the afflicted subject and will grow to full size in about two hours. The affected person will then grow new eyeballs within ten minutes of the loss of the original eyeballs, and usually experiences no changes in vision except for occasional visual blackouts when viewing non-anomalous canopies, tents, and gazebos.